All right, so welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later uh, for our last deck of our 12 hour stream here tonight. This is going to be a slime foot combo deck. So of course, this is a donation deck uh, for us to try out to see if we ever get to kill somebody with slime foot, the stowaway, ruthless knave and biomancers familiar. So how this works is biomancers familiar makes our activated abilities cost two less. So Slimefoot the Stowaway can usually pay four to make a one one token, but if you have two or if you have a familiar in play, it only costs two. So you can spend two mana to make a sapperling. And then Ruthless Knave with the familiar in play, you, you just use one black mana to sacrifice that sapperling and you make two treasures. And by sacrificing the sapperling, um, it deals one damage to the opponent, gain one life. So that those two treasures that you make can make a, a new sapperling, and then you have to spend one mana. So basically, with one familiar out, you have to spend one mana each iteration um, of sacrificing uh, a sapperling to do a damage. So each black mana you have deals a damage, uh, which you can use the treasures to kind of help filter your mana. So each each mana deals a damage. If you have two familiars in play, though, um, <laughs> yeah, MTG bot should be subbed. I don't I don't know why. And GG bots not. I'll have to take a look at that. Um, if you have two familiars in play, though, it does reduce this this cost to only be one. All right. Sorry about that. Just been talking a whole lot today. Um. Anyway, it reduces this cost to be one. This cost is still one, but you do generate two mana, so it makes it even. So if you have two familiars in play, one knave and one slime foot, you can uh, infinite, go infinite <clears throat> with that and deal damage to your opponent uh, with infinite. Infinite times, I guess. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, that's what we got. Besides that, we got... Uh, Girl Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid, which are really good for adapting. Uh, make the adapt cost less with the familiar. Land of War Elves and Incubation Druid uh, help propel us with a lot of mana. So if we have extra mana, we're going to want some Hydra Crises to draw some more cards to be able to find these things. Hostage Shaker is just an amazing uh, spell. So we got a bunch of those in. We have some finds to get our cards back. Jack. And... We are on the prowl for some wins. Let's try it out. Slime foot combo. How do y'all think we're going to do with this deck? How many wins do y'all think that we're going to be doing? Getting. All right, let's get Gruel. Dinosaurs up and going. Actually, I, sh I should probably just shock there and just throw out this incubation against Glacial Fortress. So I was kind of doing other stuff too. Xavier Max with the resub for the eighth month. Thank you so much, Xavier. I uh, hope you're having a good night. Interesting to see the deck. Uh, thanks, thanks so much, Xavier. All right, so we got people saying three two or two wins, two two. It's like two two and three two are the most common answers here. Sub number 28. Um, all right, I need this deck list here. Thief of Sanity. I mean, do I just in incongruity that? I guess so. I really don't like incongruity. I don't like trading a spell with my opponent and they get a 3-3. Three, three. 
I don't like it. Playing the Overgrown Tomb because they know they know about that one. This is probably going to be a tough matchup for us. So we're going to incongruity the deputy at attention, give him another 3-3. Three, three. Okay. They didn't do any attacking. Let's try this again. That's good news for us. They didn't, didn't attack. Looks like they ran out of cards. Incongruity finding... Uh, I'm going to stay on defense. If we... if Or sorry, incubation. If we incubation and find hostage taker, we could hostage taker their deputy, and then deputy something. Some tokens or something. So this is seven right now, which is only drawing, which is drawing three cards. If I wait a turn, we can draw more. They better not have another deputy at attention. Nice. Good job, Krasis. We had the, the old Hydroid Krasis combo. That's what I named this deck, right? Krasis combo? I guess they can take my Immortal Sons with Hostage Shakers. <laughs> Great deck. Um... I mean, I do want the Immortal Sons because I want the card advantage. <laughs> Krasis draws Krasis. Just draws Krasis. Sounds like a combo to me. Find Finality is going to be awesome here. I'm going to trim one of each of our combo pieces. Oh, maybe Harpooner is worth it. For Thief. Maybe. They probably have Lyra. I'll just save the incubation if they have a thief on turn three. They need to use incongruity. Lazav. Wasn't that like a, a real popular like Super Bowl commercial and stuff before? Lazav. People like hanging out the their car and stuff. Saying to their friends, Lazav. Pretty sure that was a thing. GCG. Get a new one. Oh, it was over the phones. That's right. I want a hostage taker, that thing. But our hostage taker could die.
What do y'all think? Should I, should I turn that into a frog or should I take her it? I guess probably turning it into a frog is probably the safest thing. Yeah, let's just let's just frog it. We'll wait on our taker. Good call, good call. No. My hostage taker. Ooh. Got to keep the hostage taker. This thing is kind of big. I'm a little worried about deputy detention taking my growth chamber guardians. A little worried. Not like overtly worried. Fire Mancer is cool. No, no, I would actually wait. I wanted to actually spend the mana in depth that and get my other growth chamber guardian out of my deck. So our opponent knows about the hostage taker, right? So if they're doing this, they probably have like some kind of answer for the hostage taker. I really don't want them to have their own hostage taker. I guess I have incubation incongruity if they have their own hostage taker. I shot the sheriff, but I did not fr frog no deputy. All right, this turn's gonna hurt. We'll, we'll get our opponent next turn. Let's have. So when you know you have nothing, just playing another Lazav out there. No, I'm not blocking the hero. I need this Biomancer familiar. Or I could just do that. It kept on top. So my plan was, like, they attack with all their stuff. I incongruity their deputy, get the hostage taker, take their other deputy, get, like, these... Get like these things and, and so on. Yeah, I guess I just do this though. This is kind of annoying that we have to hostage take our own growth chamber guardian, I guess. It's a little annoying.
nothing better to do with this hostage taker. That's what I'm saying. That's a little annoying. Oh, I only have one blue mana. So I cannot play Biomancer's Familiar as well. I kind of want to just incubation and see... You know, like if we found like a hostage taker, it would be a lot better for us. No accounting for luck, but maybe I'll make yours an exception will hold. For you. Now we have another blue mana. Example of my genius. This is bad. This is real bad. This is a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. This is bad. Thief of Sanity gets three cards. Gets to look at three cards. Whiff. 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 Whoa. Okay, okay. I say like whatever they got's better than slime foot, but I guess it was just another slime foot. I'm a little surprised. I guess they thought slime foot's better than incubation. They could incubation and look for, um, you know, a d another deputy or something like that. But I guess they didn't want to. That card's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we only need to do Krasis for six. Or, I mean, I guess I meant four. Six mana. Oh, I missed. Wow, I miscounted. Yeah, Biomancer's Familiar is doing work. There we go. Slimefoot combo. 1 0. Oh. We totally Slimefoot comboed our opponent. See, like they had a Slimefoot from us, and we won. That's our, that's our Slimefoot combo. Give our opponent a slime foot and then we win.
Krasis is pretty good. Yeah, Hydro Hydro-Krasis combo. <laughs> you play Krasis and your opponent concedes. It's a combo. We got a combo deck over here. <laughs> combo deck. Uh, I need all right. I need to make a a gruel dinosaurs thumbnail. Bum, ba -dum, bum. All right, we'll keep all the man in the world, and you know we just gotta draw our, our spells now. Dude, this Thought Erasure is gonna be nice. Thought Erasure in three, two, one. Aww. I was really hoping for the Thought Erasure there. Yeah, all we need to do is draw a Hydro Crisis and we're in business. Or, you know, having a lot of mana makes Hostage Taker a lot better, too. Okay, that'll do. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. To where it starts. Oh, these wild growth walkers are gonna be tough. We need we need to find our hostage takers. Got to find them takers. Oh yeah, we need to take that Hydro Crisis too. Man, why are we only playing three Hostage Takers? That's why I said we should play four. Y'all were like, no, cut a Hostage Taker. That card's not any good. We got our fourth one in the board at least. Alright, let's start getting our other stuff out here. I probably should. I should shock there. And get another growth chamber guardian and put it into play. I should shock there. <laughs> Sassy Todd. They have fine finality? I mean, I don't mind them. I do not mind them using find and getting putting J Light Rangers back in their hands. I'd rather them do that than cast finality, I think. I think. Is that better than finality? I'm just blocking. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna block. Oh, this land wealth over there. I could have just played this Growth Chamber Guardian anyway. My card's pretty good. Three. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm waiting on crisis. Yeah, we're we're gonna make the be biggest crisis we can. I mean, I, I want to activate this incubation druid, so that'll be three, four, five. So then I would have three mana there. All right, yeah. Let's so let's do do that. Oh wait, I think I, I just have more mana than I thought I did. Do I? That one did not need to be a shock. I did not need a shock there. Oh, right. Familiar makes it three. I forgot about the familiar making it three. Right. I mean, finality kills two of my... Two of my cards in the familiar. I should probably just cast Incubation. Incubation's probably just better than Incongruity. I don't know. What do y'all think? Do I exile this Krasis? I guess it's the safest thing. Yeah, yeah, let's just exile the Krasis. Okay, um... So two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I do crisis for eleven this turn, or I wait another turn and I have an extra three mana and I can crisis for fourteen next turn and I do these two. Eleven draws five cards next turn. We would draw seven cards. We would draw another two cards next turn. Why does it, why is it better to make oh make frog in, in response to the finality so it dies oh yeah I'm sorry my bad sorry just just considering like all the other stuff and I wasn't really thinking about that just kind of talking about all like or, you know just kind of considering like the other stuff that I should be doing like with the crisis and everything even just like. Before I was really just I was really debating between incubation and incongruity in my head earlier of like which one to actually do, and by the time I decided just to use the mana, yeah, it was, it was a little too late. Oh, I thought our opponent already. Yeah, I thought they went to combat. All right, so now. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, yeah, so we draw a new hand. 
Okay, Yud, have a good night. Thanks for staying up. We only have one part of our of our combo right now. Let's tear. No one said restoration was painless. Um I'm not sure what I'll cast this for. Yeah, we have two familiars dead. How much do I want to cast this for? Maybe six. Draw three. Then we'll have five mana. Kill that thing. Not dead yet. Boom! Opponent scoops it up. We didn't even get to combo him. We are going to combo him the next turn. The next turn! Probably. I mean, we have four Slimefoot still in the deck, and we are going to be casting, like, those incubations. We had two incubations to dig five. Like, we were going to be comboing him. Uh, Hydroid combo works again. Hydroid combo works again. Um... So yeah, against Sultai, we certainly want Hostage Shaker because that card's busted. And we want these Immortal Sons because they great also. Um, I think I kind of have to trim on some of these other combo pieces, unfortunately, in this matchup. I'm going to take out two Knaves and a Slime Foot. Yeah, Incubation Druid's just insane. The card's just awesome. Hey, the Balding Yeti! Getting sub number 29 on here. Thanks for that reset, Balding Yeti. Saying, love you, Mr. Stevens. You're an inspiration to us all. Keep it up. And thanks for never giving up. Thanks, the Balding Yeti. Oh. Thank you. Um, Hostage Shaker is great, but I, I don't think I keep this. Uh, we need to be faster. I guess I'm keeping this one though. So don't really want to go to five. Twenty-nine. Oh, this is not a headache deck. Now, sway. This is, this kind of stuff's right in my wheelhouse. I can play mid-range decks like this. You gave me some like weird spells matter deck. So real, real good start for the opponent. They had the land war elf. So they had the the fast mana. Real good start for them. <laughs> yeah, been a good day, Balding Yeti. Good, uh, you know, long 12-hour stream. We are, we've passed over the 12-hour mark now. We are now 12 hours and 5 minutes into the stream. 
I just can't sit here and take all the damage in the world. We just gotta block. Lana War. And that's why I did not play Hostage Shaker. Give me this. Thank you. Kill all their things. So obviously I could take like Jade Light Ranger and that'd be like a higher upside play. Um, but I want to get them stuck here. I was really hoping to draw that other land for the Immortal Sun. But we're going to have to wait a turn. Jealous of popper status. <laughs> um, let's get this thing out there. <laughs> I don't know, I could I could maybe take this. Honestly. I could probably just take this. The only thing is if they have a flyer suddenly. That's what we'd have to be worried about. So like we we could lose to like a hydro crisis for two or something like that if I take it. I'm blocking. Um, <laughs> block will draw land. What's the quip goal? Yeah, quip is. Um, see, good call. Just staying just staying alive. Well, not necessarily a good call, but. Um, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So I have a, I have a referral code for Quip. Um, a really great toothbrush, favorite toothbrush I ever had. Uh, affordable, stylish, it's awesome. If you sign up for Quip, um, you get your first refill free of, uh, you get an extra tube of toothpaste and brush head sent to you in three months. Um, but besides that, I'm also letting you do a donation deck uh, for free for signing up for Quip. And whenever we have 10 people sign up for Quip, we um, will be doing another 12-hour stream to celebrate for that also. Um, so, 1960Pal, thank, thank you so much for subbing. Oh, After Wizard's gift in that sub right there. So thank you, After Wizard, gift in that sub to 1960Pal. Let's take action. <laughs> you had, uh, you you doubted the changes that we made for the decks? Nah. We made the deck a lot better. Alright, so that means we got to our 30 spot. I'd just say 30, 30, 30 for 30. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, one of them was like a, a redo. It said the, the number twice. One of them. A, 
it does say the Quip has free shipping worldwide. That's that's what it says in um in like the little information panel thing that I got. They have Find Broker, which gets back what? Find Broker gets back Jade Light. I'm not I'm not sure about military stations. Oh cool, you asked all the dentists to work with about the quip and they said it's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I I've really been enjoying it. Let's take this thing. Boom. 2 and 0, slime foot combo. AKA Hydroid Crisis slash Hostage Taker dot deck. <laughs> combo! Yeah, we, we are 2 and 0 against some good decks. We, we haven't been drawing the slime foots or the ruthless knaves. It's probably, it's probably been why we're 2 0. So the free shipping is only for refills. The first, or, the first order charge of shipping. Oh, I didn't get the pack. Let's get the pack. Is that right? Like if you sign up for like the. All right. Let's see. What are we getting? We're getting Ixalan. We got W19 last time. All right, what are we getting? Revel and Riches. There we go. No, I'm pretty sure it's it's free shipping. Yeah, it's just it's free shipping. I went through like my link there. Um and it's, you know, like if you get like the basic one, $25 free shipping and also your next refill uh is 10 Ten dollars. It's usually ten dollars and zero dollars as well. Yeah. So for five dollars more than a, a usual donation deck, you can get some quit. Oh, we are very close to having all the cards. Uh, as far as rares to open up in packs, I'm like around like I think I'm under twenty left to go. No, it says free shipping worldwide is what, like, my, like, whenever, like, they have, like, a little, like, talking points for me, you know, and everything. It's part of, like, the, part of the, uh... You know, part of, like, the sponsorship. It does say free shipping worldwide on there. Uh, we just had a donation... For a donation deck, I believe. Let me check this out. Revel in Riches. All right, I can make a Revel in Riches deck. In fact, I I have a Revel in Riches deck. No blue mana yet. Hopefully, we get some blue mana. I have the metal one. I have like I have the gun metal one. Hmm. This does not find blue mana for us. Ooh, Ruthless Knave. Let's take the Knave. Let's do it. Here we go. We got the Familiar, the Slimefoot, and the Knave. Oh, really? The the Site Help section says otherwise? Okay. Huh. I wonder I wonder if going through my... If, if using my code grants... Free shipping, if that's a thing. All 
I need to. I just realized I need to finish out this dinosaurs one. Saving. Okay, sorry. Um, I have four mana. I can do like familiar plus growth chamber guardian. Yeah, so if you yeah, if you go through Quip and sign up, um Oh, no no Revel deck, just the donation for opening it up. Oh well thanks, Jove. Well thank you so much for, the, for just the donation there. Yeah, notification pops up here on the screen. Uh, you get like a cool notification. I've, I've um, lost so much already. And also like I, I have I have like more. the because you know you can sign in like sign in with Twitch. Um Let's see. So I want to attack with the Growth Chamber Guardian for sure. Yeah. Let's do that for sure. We kind of need to find another Biomancer's Familiar. going to be a finality. You I don't have I don't stop I don't have nature. enough mana to play both of these yet. Don't explore. Uh they explored. Rude. Attack. Attack. Uh, they didn't attack. So it's not infinite damage unless you have another familiar. It's not infinite damage unless you have another familiar. It's only one mana per damage. So like our combo doesn't kill them unless we had another familiar. This this Vivian's about to ultimate though. Yeah, so I'm going Krasis. Because we had to we had to pressure Vivian. Hope they don't have a removal spell for Krasis where they have to minus three Vivian. They're searching. Meet my newest Please friend. don't find removal. No 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 no. Okay. It's not removal. Yeah, if we have, so we have to have one more familiar plus the knave and the slime foot in play, then it's infinite.
Can we beat a Vivian ultimate? What if they don't have any other creatures besides this Jade Light Ranger? You should see the look on your face right now. That's not a good sign. We gotta get more Biomancers familiars. We need, you know, like multiple familiars or hostage takers. Hostage takers would be good as well. Doesn't look good. Even if we draw one if, even if we draw one familiar next turn, if I, I play a knave, play a slime foot, we draw one familiar. If we draw familiar, we're still not doing it. I, mean, I guess we could draw a hostage taker and take this crisis. How can I draw two? How can I draw two Biomancer's Familiars here? I need two of them, not just one. That's, that's not how. All right, other hostage taker, immortal sons, uh, two knaves, and a slime foot. That time we that time we just drew a bunch of slime foots and knaves. That is not how our deck's gonna win. Yeah, we're moving towards thirteen hours. Now we're finishing up our last deck here. Okay, have that saved as thumbnail. Almost good. All right, Grill Dinosaurs is up. <laughs> Thanks, Kippe. No removal spell there. Okay. 
I don't think I'm going to incongruity. I don't think I would incongruity the WoW Growth Walker. They, they just play a Jade Light. LeBron pass, pass Jordan. I'm just waiting for my boy Dirk to pass them both. So even if they kill the hostage taker, it still resets. Um, still resets the wild growth walker. That's still, you know, not the worst for us. Okay. No cast down. Cry of the Carnarium? What, what are you doing with that? Besides nothing. Mortal Sun is nice. Yeah, I guess they're really scared of Biomancer. I guess they saw me have they saw me have slime foot. This other jade light. So I wanted to sl slam the immortal sun here, but the problem with slamming the immortal sun is my stuff dies. All their stuff would die except for like this thing. I guess this this would be a five five. That growth chamber guardian wouldn't die, but we wouldn't be able to reset this growth chamber guardian. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do this. Get a new one. Play this thing. Just wait till next turn. Or if they want a finality, that's that's okay. You know, like they trade four cards for four cards. Certainly looks like a finality to me. Wait. They could just be wanting find. They just want to buy these back with find. I'll let you buy them back. They're gonna finality. That's fine. We can deal with that stupid token. We'll be, we'll be good. Slightly annoying. Okay, good. All right, we're doing fine. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they don't top deck the removal spell. So 
Certainly a little tough. That that removal spell on Hostage Taker was tough. They did not top deck the removal spell. Going on to the next game. Mortal Sun just takes over from there. I mean, yeah, if, if they just drew a land, I mean, I have five cards in my hand and the Immortal Sun I'm drawing to a turn, so they're dead. It's just like the tight deck. Yeah, nobody's going to let us combo. Seven lands, huh? All right, come on. Let's just draw another land so I can start getting these incubation druids going. Come on, deck. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's a good hand. Get to refill and just always have those land drops. This can be a tough one to win on this mulligan here with no mana. It's going to be a tough one to win. We need lands. Come on, deck. Three Crisis would usually be pretty good, but not so much here. Gotta hit this land drop. Okay. We get another land next turn, we could finality. Nice. Yeah, Matthew, let me let me know what you think of your quick toothbrush. If you'd love it as well. Could not hit our fourth land drop, otherwise we would have had finality, been able to reset. I think we would have been okay. Need to hit that land. I could I guess I could have kept my seven card hand that was seven lands. <laughs> it's tough, you have seven lands and then one land, you know. Try to fight through, but Sultai is a great deck. Dirk action. Love it. Opponent's great. Dirk action. I know, right? Our combo dream isn't happening. Our opponent's on five cards this time. Ooh, but it's mono blue. Mono blue can win on five cards. Oh! I am dumb. I am dumb. I need to play the forest. Ugh. I was just I was just thinking about whether to play familiar or growth chamber guardian. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter too much. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes some mistakes after this long stream in. I'm 
Unfortunately, I'm worried about a counter spell. So I didn't want to lead with the Growth Chamber Guardian. We're doing good though. Alright, so would I rather incongruity that thing? Or just wait? I don't really like how incongruity taps me out. I think I want to play more Growth Chamber Guardians. So yeah, I'm just going to let this resolve. Just want to get some more like really big creatures out there. Oh, that thing can adapt already. Uh oh. I guess I I kind of messed this up. I didn't realize that Terra Manor could adapt. I should have incongruity then. Uh. I don't know. I just I really messed this up on turn two. We just put us a, a turn turn behind. The turn two messed us up. We win this if I if I just play the creature on turn two. I wish we could have done this for five. If they have nothing, we can still win. Yeah, like if they have nothing, we win. They can't attack with both because then they're they're taking lethal. I just can't even attack. Basically, if they have nothing, we win. This card's a blank. So we'll see what they got. Hmm. Alright, so if they, they go block this six, they take four, eight, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, that's that's just putting them dead. Yeah, unless they have I mean, 
Yeah, like they're just dead. Boom! Big creatures. Gonna need a trickster. Because, I mean, if they, if they would have had a trick, the thing is, if they would have had a trickster, they would have just tapped my Hydra Crisis and killed me. So we could safely assume they didn't have a trickster. Alright, get these Harpooners. Hostage Taker. Duress. Okay, ooh, Mike's in the way. He's back there. He back there. I think I have to take out the combo, unfortunately, against Mono Blue. Unfortunately. I don't know if I like these incongruities. We go like this. Uh, before streaming, um, I was a high school math teacher. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do a whole cat cam thing. Oh, we're we're actually two and one. Sorry, I messed that up. We lost our last match to Soltai. I'll be. <laughs> but no, the, the deck is good though. It's getting countered. Nope. Ooh, so tricky. So tricky. Gotta watch out for this trickster over here. No. Oh, wait. Druid adds blue anyway. that kill that surge mare hmm At least we're turning the Surge Mare into just a 3-3. Which Incubation Druid can deal with a 3-3. We got two cards left. Yeah, more like Surge Frog. Crisis? Ah. Do I wait and try to cast multiple things in a turn? I guess I wait. It's like, what's the point of playing this two two? I guess. I mean, it it is really good for resolves. I guess we wait because we're playing cards like duresses, like we're playing duresses and negates. Um, that we'd want to be able to have to protect it. I mean, they're not just sitting over there with no counter magic in their hand, obviously.
Don't imagine this is gonna work, but might as well try. We need to draw one of our crasises. Crasis. Crasis. I guess the game's over. Great says. Going to four. I guess I'm going to four. Don't mind me looking over here. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Play some D. Oh, Trickster. Oh, yeah, Trickster. I probably should have taken it, kept another card back. Yeah, Trickster. It is late. And there we go. Good game. GG. Ugh. I think our opponent was saying, GG, you have this one. And we're like, you're right, opponent, we do. Three and one. Good game, Ty. We are coming up on 13 hours. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. Let's see if we can win these other ones fast. I like it, Mulligan. There we go, win them fast. That's what I'm talking about. Man, sometimes you just gotta ask what you, you know, you just gotta ask and you shall receive. Um, who's mulliganing to zero and conceding? What if I just like stone cold call mono blue? What if I just call mono blue? Doing the same sideboarding I did just a little bit ago. Cyborg plan's not so good against or not so bad against mono red either. Uh, watery grave. It's a odd land to have in your Tempest Gen deck, but you know, to each his own. Esper control? Wow, Esper control. Wow. Good thing I have all my dresses and negates in. Cause I'm smart AF. Our right, sideboarding's perfect against Esper. Um, I'm just kinda thinking when do I want to cast this duress? Like 
I guess I'll cast it now. I'm trying to think if I should be waiting on this card. All right, well, they, they're keeping Thought Erasure. Let's take Kaya's Wrath. Even though they have a basic island. Thought Erasure? No. They're keeping Absorb Mana up. So let's attack. Oh, I should... Okay, there we go. Go, Land War Elves, go! 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 Gonna mortify one? Good, I can exile my own stuff, good. If they ever use a removal spell on an elf, I'm just I'm just gonna turn it into a frog. Yeah, it's it it is basically Delver. It just costs us three cards. not have absorb available anymore so I can now safely cast the growth chamber guardian If they would have, if they would have contempted, then I maybe would have incongruity. But I think I'm just gonna get a new one. Ooh, cry of the carnarium, huh? That's rough. Now I wish I would have incongruityed instead of activated. What happened to my, my plan? My whole plan were these Delvers. My Delvers. They were our everything. Put four lands down to the bottom. <laughs> Rename the deck Land of War Tempo. Oh, you don't even get to see him? So 
yeah, at least we have four lands at the bottom of the library, so hopefully we can start drawing these crasises that we haven't found yet. This isn't a fight you can win. Hmm. Yeah, they go back in random order. All right, so the harpooner protected behind the hostage taker. Let's skip to the good part. So they can't just like wrath my board of my two creatures, kind of thing. Attack. Yeah, our combo Hurry. is hydro hydroid crisis. Maybe no removal? Maybe no removal? No removal? Just like so, most likely not gonna win. We need to move quickly. This is the last chance to kill this Teferi. If 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 this growth chamber guardian doesn't kill the Teferi, we're scooping him up. Okay, well, at least now we know we're playing against Esper Control. We almost sideboarded perfectly for him. Uh, problem is I want these trophies and especially these mortal suns, and I don't want these harpooners. Um, let's get another incubation in there. Yeah, opponent's playing a little bit... Oh, their own deck with like the revitalizes. You don't see that card too often. Play first. Keep, I suppose. Hooray! Yay, we don't have to go through an Esper control slug through. Twice that match, we didn't do anything. Our opponent, we just kept seven, and our opponent mulled to five and then conceded. That's what happened in game one and game three. Whatever, it's final boss time. We'll take it. It's already midnight, and it's it's now over 13 hours for me streaming today. We're going to take it. Okay, we got two-thirds of our combo. We're really two-fourths of our combo. 
Really, this is a four card combo deck. We got two of the four. We also need two copies of Biomancer's Familiar and play to go with these two. Adventurous Impulse. Looks like they're mono green. Hostage Shaker is usually pretty, pretty, pretty good against mono green. Hmm. Play Dubs, Land War Elf. Yeah. All right, what you got, Vladimir Tutin? Gorklaw, Terror of somebody. We can probably do better with Hostage Shaker than that. More mana. More mana. What the heck is that thing? Alright, maybe I need to take that core claw. Give me this. What do y'all think? Do I incongruity this thing? Uh, maybe not. We could have something super scary. Man, two mana null hide Ferox. Trade an incubation druid for that thing. That thing is scary. More mana. <laughs> Never mind, just trade a land war elf. <laughs> nice. Um that's a pretty good trade. Suppose it's acceptable. So that was an an acceptable trade. Oh, sorry, Pro Clutch. Yeah, sorry for the. Those last games, that was frustrating, I'm sure, for you. I have been streaming for over 13 hours now, so I, I did appreciate the quick concessions and not slugging through the match. Myself. But I know what you're talking about. A lot of like these early like one twos and stuff earlier, we had just, were just having horrible mana, mana troubles earlier. So I, kn I know exactly what you're saying there with the 26 land deck, getting like all the one landers and stuff. Mayonator, thank you so much for that tier one sub for the second month. Getting that hype up in here. All right, let's. 
Let's look for our combo. Biomance is familiar. Where are you at? Alright, no familiar, but we got a jellyfish. Is that a thing a jellyfish? It is a jellyfish. Six, seven, eight. All right, I'm I'm comboing this opponent. We haven't comboed yet. We need to do it. Hopefully this opponent doesn't concede. I am never attacking with this crisis. Hopefully they don't concede because we have not combo killed an opponent yet, and I want to do it. No, don't kill my slime foot. Yeah, sure you can kill that thing. Whatever. I don't care about that. Hey! Thanks, Mr. TV. Gifting out a sub to Pro Clutch. There you go, Pro Clutch. Hope that makes your day feel a little better. You get some cool emotes you can use now on the channel. Alright, where's our combo? Find us combo deck. Hostage taker. Well, we know the bottom eight cards are no good. Okay, yeah, I saw that, yeah, with, like, the, yeah, you had, like, revitalize and stuff, so, gotcha. Got a lot of creatures and all that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, if I, I feel like if I play this Hydroid Krasis, our opponent may concede. I don't really want to play the Krasis. Maybe we play a small Krasis. Let's do the Krasis for, like, hmm, four? Six. Who's six? Hopefully they don't concede to that. Where are these familiars at? There's four familiars in the deck. We haven't seen one yet. And we know the bottom eight cards are not them. So there's 27 cards left that we that we haven't looked at. So all four are in the bottom 27. No, 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 don't, don't do it. Just, just let me find the combo. No, I knew I shouldn't have played that crisis. I don't know what I was gonna do with the rest of the mana and stuff though. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> hmm. Do I even want assassin's trophies? They do like kill things. Killing stuff's usually pretty good. Our opponent doesn't use removal. I'm going to take out one of each of these things. I think we can still find one Knave, one Slime Foot, and two Biomancer's Familiars just fine. Um, yeah, our real I know, our combo deck really is just a crisis. And opponent concede. I'll get rid of Find Finality. With nothing dying. 
Okay, replaying this. Come on. If you have, if we have two Biomancer's Familiars in play, and one Ruthless Knave, and one Slimefoot Stowaway, we can make infinite Sapperling tokens and sacrifice them. Uh, you know, make infinite and then like keep sacrificing them. So you know, like we don't actually go wide, but each one triggers the Slimefoot um, and deals damage to the opponent. All right, come on, mana creature. Uh, you're not really a mana creature, but I guess you're something to play on turn two. <laughs> That's the sign of a good combo deck, though. We can win without it. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know if we can win with it. So I'm not sure if it's the best <laughs> that good of a combo deck, so I don't even know if we can win with our combo. Thing big. Keyword big. That's a tough keyword to beat sometimes. I cyborg like you were mono blue after you scoop game one. Which almost worked, because I had all my dresses and negates in. Hmm. That thing's even bigger. Seven life? Seven life. So they kill hostage taker. But then we have another hostage taker. attacks yeah I mean our opponent's not doing anything with their cards in hand there they go like maybe they just have lands they weren't actually casting cards We're winning. All right, where's Biomancer's familiar? Oh, I could take this thing. It's part of our combo. Hostage Taker is a whole lot better card here, of course, but we're just trying to combo our opponent. Was this like a Moo Cow? Did he just moo and then was there a bell after he mooed? Matthew, we're a combo deck. We're not attacking. 
We're hoping our opponent doesn't concede. Yeah, you heard the cow and the bell too? Alright, we, we haven't... This is the final boss, and we have not comboed an opponent at all yet. We just want to combo an opponent. That's all I want. Okay. We're almost there. We only need one more Biomancer's Familiar. We only need one more familiar. Yeah, kill that. Kill that. Nice. Nice form. Nice form. Good plummet. Good job, opponent. Draw something big. Draw something good. No. Yeah, we can do them. Yeah, we can do the combo a finite amount of times with one slime foot. Basically, one time for every mana we have. I think we may just need to kill our opponent. One more turn? Alright, one more turn. Yeah, I think we can do one more turn. We can we can start doing the finite combo at end step. We haven't actually activated the combo yet. One more turn. We'll start comboing at end step and then un untap. Come on, draw something good, opponent. Come on, get a Palaka Worm. Palaka Worm. Palaka Worm. All right, good enough, good enough. You can't Assassin's Trophy your own things. All right, so we make a 1-1. One, one. And then we spend a black. Sack a creature, move out of the way. Sack this creature. And we got two treasures. All right, make a one one. Spend a black. Sack this thing. Oh, we could sacrifice the Galta, I suppose. This is the slowest combo. <laughs> this, this is a very slow combo. <laughs> the twelve twelve doesn't do one damage to face. Only saplings. Whenever only the saplings deal one damage to face. We would sack the twelve twelve for two treasures.
Sacrifice a creature. This one right here. Oh my god, my poor opponent. All right, I'm. I'm. That's the last one of, the, of these I'm doing. I'm just gonna make a. I'll make a one-one. I'm not sacking any more treasures. We did it! Another biomance is familiar. Another familiar. We did it! It's infinite. It's infinite. Is there a thank you? Thank you, opponent. Hooray! And keep on doing this. Wow, what a slow combo though. Cause then yeah, you have to like start sacking your treasures after a while. Okay, so I'm not I'm not putting our opponent through more of that. But you get the point. That's what our that's what our deck does. No, you don't attack. Good game. Good game, opponent. So we could we could just keep on doing that infinitely of making the making a sapling token deal one damage to the opponent, but you have to like crack multiple treasures every turn. Oh man, what a slow combo to actually do on on arena. What a slow combo to actually do on Arena. Hey, Sway, the combo hype. 5-1, we defeated the final boss. And we got to combo. Epic finish. And not only that, it looks like we, to, to top off this epic finish, we even cracked open the vault. Look at that. We did it, though. Slimefoot combo, got the 5-1. Maybe maybe our deck was like pretty good because we had a bunch of fast mana and a whole bunch of hostage takers and hydro crises to go along with like a whole lot of mana. Maybe our deck was good because of that. Or maybe we had Ruthless Knave, Slimefoot, Stowaway, and Biomancer's Familiar. Maybe it was that too. Yeah, if there was one person to combo, it's definitely the final boss. Good call. <laughs> All right, Mirror Sir. Thank you so much there. Yep, time to go to bed. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.